this is Paul from ukuleleforteachers.com, and I'm here to do something I don't do very often. That is to do a full instrument review, and not of a ukulele, but of a guitar. Um, those of you who have been to my seminars before, or read my blog, know there are instruments that I recommend, uh, but I don't usually do a full-out review. Katma asked me to do a review of this instrument, though, after uh, I had contacted them with some questions about um, the Populele, which I bought a few years back and liked very much, um, that works on the same idea. And so they asked if I would do a review, and uh, here we are. The idea behind the Poputar and the Populele is that it has the light-up frets. You link the instrument with a... Uh, phone or tablet through Bluetooth and then using that you can for example uh, choose chords and they light up the frets that go along with that chord. So it's an interesting idea. It's one of those things that as a classroom teacher you know you have some questions about necessarily whether that's a good idea to have students looking at their fingers all the time but you know a lot of us do use dots on the fretboards uh, to help students from time to time so it's not uh, a horrible idea and the nice thing about the lights is that they can go away when they don't need them anymore so um, the instruments a three-quarter size guitar uh, a spruce top, though I believe that's a laminate, it has a pretty resonant sound. Playing through it, though, uh, a major problem became evident pretty quickly. I took it to a couple luthiers to see if they noticed the same problem and see if it was what I thought it was, and indeed they confirmed that that was the issue. The problem with this instrument, unfortunately, is it's not ready to be sold yet because the frets are not placed in the right spots. Which, if you know anything about fretted instruments, which I'm assuming you do because you're here, that kind of makes the whole instrument a non-starter. I can't recommend anybody purchase this instrument at this time. I just hope that Kepma does fix the issue so that uh, we can explore the possibilities of the instrument otherwise. Because at this point, there's no reason anybody should buy this instrument. Here's the reason why. If I even just play an open G chord, if you're listening carefully, you might actually be able to hear that it doesn't quite sound right. Some of the chords are a little better than others, but if I just go up to the fifth fret, this instrument cannot even be tuned to itself because already at the fifth fret, which as you may know, should tune to the next string if the guitar is in tune, which this one is. If I play here, that's the fifth fret, here's the next string. These should be the same pitch. This is basic guitar making. better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you, I'm sure you're hearing what I'm hearing there. It, it's, it can't play in tune. And so everything else I tell you about the instrument is not really useful because the instrument cannot play in tune. And therefore it's not really a usable instrument. Now, could I say some other things about it? Sure. If they can fix this, that basic manufacturing problem, it does have a pretty resonant sound, especially for the size of the body. Um, it comes with a really nice gig bag, a really nice padded gig bag. And I think the light up frets is an interesting idea to play with. It also has a uh, built-in pickup, um, but what else can be said about it? If the instrument doesn't play in tune, it's not really a usable instrument, unfortunately. So the app is a little buggy right now. 
Um, when you switch from one function to another, sometimes it just shuts the um, the instrument, the frets down. For example, if I tried to go to, um, if I go from the chord chart here, which should show you a chord there, to something like this, which I should be able to light up and choose which instrument or which frets to light up, that shuts the fretboard down. Uh, so that's not usable there. Uh, there's a portion of the app that allows you to uh, play along and it's supposed to listen to you and tell you which notes you play right and which notes you play wrong. Um, that's really buggy, doesn't seem to work very well, but then again it could be that it's not hearing the correct pitch because the instrument can't play in tune because the frets are in the wrong place, and I said this before. So um, if they could get those basic issues handled with the guitar, then it might be an interesting one to look at again. However, at this time, I'm afraid I can't recommend this instrument, uh, which makes me really sad because I do like the Populele very much. Um, it's just this one's not quite ready yet, and uh, I hope they can fix that particular problem because without that particular problem being fixed, nothing else matters.